friends, this is Magda here. Today I will be making a geode crystal cake. This is a very popular cake that emerged um, just a few years ago and I absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful and cannot believe how realistic it looks compared to the actual rock. Big thanks to the person who thought of the idea. We just all jumped on the trend. So here I have an 8 inch cake that has already been crumb coated, chilled in the freezer for about 10 minutes and now I'm giving it its final layer of buttercream getting ready to be covered in fondant. With the bench scraper we will try to get it as smooth as possible and pop it in the refrigerator maybe for another 5 minutes just so that the buttercream sets nicely before being covered. I actually forgot to film the part where I'm making my marbled fondant, but as you can see I used white, blue, and a little bit of gray to make this marble fondant. I will have a video for you guys soon. So now that I've covered the cake, I actually realized I have a little bit of a tear on my fondant, but no biggie. That is actually the part that I will use to make the diamond shaped carving that we're going to use as the actual geode where we're gonna be putting all our crystals. So what I like to do here is kind of outline it a little bit. Don't go in too deep. Just kind of outline the area that you wanna carve out and little by little, get a little deeper and deeper and start carving, removing the fondant first of all, and then start carving a little bit of the bread at a time. We don't wanna make a huge hole that we're not going to be able to fix afterwards. I'd rather go in a little at a time until we reach the depth that we want. Now that we have carved out basically the cake where, where our crystals are going to go, we need to cover that with buttercream. Um, not only so that you don't see the bread, but also so that the crystals can stick. All of that's going to be covered with the crystals, um, but we need something too. So they hold on to, and that is our buttercream. following picture are the candy rock that I used. Basically I just smashed it in a bag and got the loose crystals and started placing them in the carving of the cake. I used blue ones and I used white ones. So you want to start with the darkest in the middle and start creating an ombre illusion towards the outside. So obviously the white's going to go on the outside and the blue, the darkest, is going to go in the center. So now that I've placed all the crystal, it's all just white and blue. So in order to create the ombre illusion that we're going for, I dissolved a little bit of turquoise and a lighter shade of blue in a little bit of vodka. And what I'm doing is painting the white crystals right outside of the blue center so that little by little it gets lighter and lighter until it eventually blends in into the white. And that is how we create that ombre illusion. Thank you. 
here I even added a little bit of a darker blue, more of a royal blue, right to the center just to give it that darker look and make it look even more realistic. Now that all the crystals have been placed and painted, now we're gonna get a little bit of the gold highlighter dust and again dissolve it with a little bit of vodka just to outline the entire cut itself. So the entire diamond um, shape carving, we're gonna outline it with some gold just to give it those final touches that's gonna make it look extra nice. After I finish placing the gold on the actual carving of the cake, I did also add very thin lines of the gold, outlining some of the marble lines on the fondant, and it just gives it a really nice, um, elegant touch. And after that, basically just add your cake message on the cake board, and it is a finished cake. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please subscribe for more videos.